Hey guys, me Robert Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing. This first week, week and a half of April, two storm systems to deal with. Um, between 4.3 and 4.11. You can see the timeline here, Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Sierra in the Northeast. So for example, here's how you read it. In the Wasatch, I'm forecasting light to moderate snow accumulation 4.5, heavy accumulation on 4.6. In Colorado, heavy snow accumulation starts the afternoon of 4.5, continues through 4.6, and then moderate accumulations on 4.9. In the Northeast, you're in it. You've got heavy snow and high winds coming the afternoon of 4.3, all the way through 4.4, and then light to moderate accumulations continuing with less wind into 4.5. So we'll look at all this in this forecast update. I want to take you over to water vapor satellite imagery, give you the lay of the land here. So again on this, your moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues, and there's our first storm system. There's another one behind it. So both of these become the two-storm cycle for this period. We'll ride the jet up into Canada, and then they're going to come spill down into the uh, interior west. The second storm is going to go even further to the south, almost down into Mexico, and then shoot back north through New Mexico and Colorado, 4.8, 4.9, and 4.10. So both of these guided by the jet. Here we are. By close of business today, there's your jet pattern. Here comes our first storm system diving down through California, then moves into the interior states, 4546. Here comes the second storm, goes even further to the south. Look at it on 48, and look at it on 49. I mean, it starts to come up through New Mexico and Colorado at that point, and by 410, 411, it's moving away, and then we're into some high pressure ridging here across the west into 412. Looking at the precept forecast radar here, by 530 today, here comes our first storm dropping south with that buckling northern branch. Snow in California, and then snow into the interior states, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado. Look at, the, look at parts of Colorado getting socked in Friday into Saturday, and it's still there Saturday afternoon. Then the storm deforms and kind of moves up into the north with heavy snow from Montana and Wyoming as it kind of dies. Here comes that second storm, kind of sneaks in from the south through New Mexico and Colorado with snow on 4849. This could turn into a stronger Colorado storm. Um, so it'll have to be watched for this time period. It's still a long way out, but then eventually weakens by 410 and then moves away. Then we're into a much drier period. All right, let's look at uh, my latest grand total map. So by late 412 in Colorado, the biggest numbers are across the western slope. I'm um, looking at probably 6 to 12, 6 to 14 inches there, 6 to 8 on the divide into Summit County. 1 to 2 feet for the Tetons, potentially 1 to 2 feet for a lot of Montana. A really good stretch. Uh, 8 to 10 through Sunshine Village, Marmon Basin, and Ferdy. Less up through Kicking Horse and Revelstoke. Looking at potentially a foot or more. I'll go 16 to 20 through parts of Big and Little Cottonwood Canyons. Quite a bit less up through Park City, Deer Valley, and Snow Basin. Good numbers in Idaho and uh, potentially 8 to 16 through parts of the Sierra. Let me break it all down by time period. So the rest of today through tomorrow, most of it's with the first storm dropping north to south. You can see the numbers. Second time period, bigger. Uh, looking at the, that's when Utah picks up most of its accumulation. Uh, 8 to 12 through parts of the Tetons. Colorado, you can see the numbers 4 to 8 through most places and up to a foot in parts of Montana. Final time period. This is 4 8 through 4 12. That final storm, that second storm comes up from the south through New Mexico and Colorado, delivers some accumulation, but this will have to be watched because if it spins up to a stronger storm system, then the numbers go up through all of those areas. And the Tetons pick up another great shot of snow during this period of like 6 to 10 inches, all the way up to Big Sky, in fact, in Bridger Bowl. Okay, let's go to the northeast. Big storm here gets started afternoon uh, today all the way through tomorrow with high winds and about a foot or more of snow through all the major ski areas. Uh, Whiteface does well, Vermont, New Hampshire. Maine could get two feet of accumulation, including Mount Washington with uh, potentially two to three feet of accumulation there. And then we turn it over to light to moderate snow accumulation on 4-5, and then it should be done after that and the storm moves away. But a major storm system on tap starting um, later today and continuing all the way through 4-4 into 4-5. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for the West by late 412. There's some really good numbers on the map here. Anywhere in purple's over a foot, and there's definitely some bullseyes. Again, two storm systems through 412. Guys, thanks for tuning in here to this Mountain Weather Update. Always appreciate it, and take care.